Jude of Jesus Christ, a slave, brother, and of James, to those in God the Father having been set apart, and to Jesus Christ having been kept called. Mercy to you and peace and love be multiplied, beloved, all diligence, making to write to you about the common salvation I need had to write to you, exhorting to earnestly contend for the once delivered to the same, delivered to the saints' faith. For still in certain men, those of old having been written before to this judgment, ungodly ones the up the God of us, grace perverting into unbridled lust, and the only Master God and Lord of us, Jesus Christ, denying. And to remind you, I purpose knowing you once this, that the Lord a people out of the land out of land of Egypt having saved in the second place those not believing he destroyed and angels those not having kept the of themselves first place but having deserted the own dwelling place for the judgment of a great day in chains eternal under blackness he has kept and Sodom and Gomorrah and those around them, cities in the similar to these men are committing fornication and going away after flesh, other set before an example of fire, everlasting vengeance, undergoing, undergoing fire, everlasting vengeance. Likewise, indeed, also these dreaming ones, flesh even defile, Lordship and despise glories and speak evil of, but my gold archangel, when with the devil contending, he argued about the body of Moses, not he dared a judgment to bring of blasphemy, but said, Let rebuke you, the Lord. But these, what things not they know, they speak evil of, what things, and naturally, as the unreasoning animals they understand by these they are corrupted woe to them because in the way of Cain they went into the error of Balaam for reward gave themselves and in the game scene of Korah perished these are in the love feasts of you rocky reefs feasting together with you without fear themselves feeding clouds waterless by winds having been carried about trees autumn without fruit twice dying having been uprooted waves wild of the sea foaming of the themselves shames the shames of themselves stars wandering for whom blackness of darkness to the age has been kept prophesied and also to these the seventh from Adam Enoch saying behold came the Lord with myriad saints of him to do judgment against all and to rebuke all the ungodly of them concerning all the works of ungodly them which they did ungodly and concerning all the hard things which spoke against him, sinners ungodly, these are murmurers, complainers, according to the lust of them going, and the mouth of them speaks proud things, admiring faces gain for the sake of. But you, beloved, remember the words spoken before by the apostles of the Lord of us, Jesus Christ, because they told you that at the last time we'll be mockers, according to the of themselves lusts, according to the lusts of themselves going after the ungodliness is these are they dividing apart themselves animal-like the spirit not having
but you were loved in the most holy of your faith. Building up yourselves in the spirit holy, praying yourselves in the love of God, keep eagerly awaiting the mercy of the Lord of us, Jesus Christ, to life everlasting. And some truly pity making a distinction, others but with fear save out of the fire, snatching them, aiding even from the flesh-stained garment, now to him being able to keep you without stumbling and to set you before the glory of him without blemish with exaltation to the only wise God, Savior of us. Be glory and majesty, might and authority, even now and to all the ages. Amen. A revelation of Jesus Christ, which gave to him God to show to the slaves of him things which must occur with speed. And he signified, sending through the angel of him to the slave of him, John, who testified of the word of God and the witness, Jesus Christ, as many even he, he saw. Blessed the one reading and the ones hearing the words of the prophecy and keeping the things in it having been written. For the time is near. John to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from the one being and who was and who is coming, and from the seven spirits which are before the throne of him, and from Jesus Christ, the witness faithful, the firstborn out of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to the one loving us and washed us from the sins of us in the blood of him, and made us kings and priests to the God and Father of him. To him is the glory and the might to the ages of the ages. Amen. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and we'll see him every eye, and those with him pierced, and we'll wail over him all the tribes of the earth. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, beginning and ending, says the Lord, the one being and who was and is coming the Almighty, I, John, even the brother of you, and co-sharer co in the affliction and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, came to be in the island being called Patmos for the word of God and because of the witness of Jesus Christ. I came to be in the Spirit in the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a voice great as a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. What? And you see, right, and what you see, write into a scroll and send to the seven churches in Asia to Ephesus, and to Smyrna, and to Pergamos, and to Thyatira, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice which spoke with me, and having turned I saw seven lampstands, 
of gold, and in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, having been clothed to the feet, and having been girded with at the breast a girdle of gold, and the head of him and the hairs white as wool, white as snow, and the eyes of him as a flame of fire. And the feet of him like burnished brass, as in a furnace having been fired, and the voice of him as a sound of waters many, and having in the right of him hand stars seven, and out of the mouth of him a sword to mouth sharp proceeding, and the face of him as the sun shines in the power of it, and when I saw him, I fell at the feet of him as dead. And he placed the right of him hand on me, saying to me, Not do fear, I am the first and the last, and the living one. And I became dead, and behold, living I am to the ages of the ages. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write things which you saw, and things which are, and things that are about to be, after these things, the mystery of the seven stars, which you saw on the right of me, and the seven lampstands of gold, the seven stars, angels of the seven churches are, our seven angels of the seven, the seven stars are the seven angels of churches and the seven lampstands which you saw are seven churches. To the angel of the Ephesian church write, These things says the one holding the seven stars in the right of him, the one walking in the midst of the seven lampstands of gold. I know the works of you, and the labor of you, and the patience of you, and that you cannot bear evil ones, and you tried the ones pretending to be apostles, and are not, and found them liars, and you bore up in patience, have even due to the name of me you have labored, and not have wearied. But I have against you that the love of you, the first you left, remember therefore from where you have failed, from where you have fallen, and repent, and the first works do, and if not, I am coming to you quickly and will remove the lampstand of you from the place of it, if not you repent. But this you have, that you hate the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate, of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate, the one having an ear, what he, the one having an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one overcoming, I will give to him to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last, who became dead and lived, I know of you the works and the affliction and the poverty, but you are rich, and the evil speaking of those same Jews to be themselves, and they are not, but a synagogue of Satan. Not at all fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, is about to cast some of you, the devil, into prison, that you may be tried, and you will have affliction ten days, be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. The one having an ear to hear what the Spirit has to the churches.
the one overcoming not ever would be hurt by the death second. And to the angel of the Pergamos Church, Pergamos Church, right? <clears throat> These things says the one having the sword to mouth sharp. I know the works of you and where you dwell, where the throne is of Satan, and you hold the name of me and not deny the faith of me even in the days in which was Antipas the witness of me faithful, who is killed alongside you where dwells Satan. But I have against you a few things, for you have there those holding the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to throw a snare before the sons of Israel, to eat idol sacrifices, and to do fornication. So also you, those holding to the teaching of the Nicolaitans, which I hate, repent, but if not, I will come to you quickly. And I will make war with them by the sword of the mouth of me. The one having an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one overcoming I will give him to eat from the manna hidden. And I will give him a stone white and on the stone a new name being written. Which no one knows except the one receiving it. And to the angel of the Endiatara write, These things says the Son of God, he having the eyes of him as a flame of fire, and the feet of him like burnished brass. I know of you the works and the love and the ministry, and the faith and the patience of you and the works of you in the last more than the first. But I have against you a few things that you allowed a woman, Jezebel, the one saying herself a prophetess, to teach and to cause to err my slaves to do fornication and idle sacrifices to eat, and I gave to her time that she may repent of the fornication of her, and not she repented. Behold, I am casting her into a bed, and those committing adultery with her into affliction great. If not, they may repent of the works of them, and the children of her I will kill with death, and will know all the churches that I am, the one searching kidneys and hearts. And I will give to you each according to the works of you, but to you I say, and to the rest in Thyatira, as many as not have this teaching, and who not knew the deep things of Satan, as they say, not I am casting on you another load, but what you have hold until I shall come, and he overcoming, and he keeping until the end of the works of me, I will give him authority over the nations, and he will shepherd them with an, a staff iron, with a iron staff as vessels clay, they are broken, as I also have received from the Father of me. And I will give him the star morning, the one having an ear, hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the in Sardis church write, These things says he having the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know of you the works that the name you have, that you live and are dead. Be watching and establish the things left which are about to die. For not I have found of you the works being fulfilled before God. Remember then how you received and heard, and keep and repent. If then 
not you watch. I will come on you as a thief, and not at all you know what hour I come on you. You have a few names also in Sardis, which not defile the garments of them, and they shall walk with me in white, because worthy they are. The one overcoming, he shall be clothed in garments white, and not at all will I blot the name of him out of the before the father of me. And not at all will I blot the name of him out of the scroll of life, and I will acknowledge the name of him before the father of me and before the angels of him, the one having an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says the Holy One, the True One, the one having the key of David, the one opening and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know of the works, behold, I have given before you a door being opened, and no one is able to shut it, because a little you have power, and have kept of me the word, and not denied the name of me. Behold, I give out of the synagogue of Satan those saying themselves choose to be and are not, but they lie. Behold, I will make them that they shall come and shall bow before the feet of you, and they shall know that I loved you, because you kept the word of the patience of me, and I will keep you out of the hour of trial, being about to come on the habitable world all, to try the ones dealing on, to try to try the ones dwelling on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold what you have, that no one take the crown of you. The one overcoming I will make him a pillar in the temple of the God of me, and out not at all he will go yet, and I will write on him the name of the God of me, and the name of the city of the God of me, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from the God of me, and the name of me new, the one having an ear. Hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church Laodicea write, These things says the Amen, the witness faithful and true, the head of the creation of God, and know of you the works that neither cold are you nor hot. I would that cold you were or hot. So because lukewarm you are and neither cold nor hot, I am about to vomit out of the mouth of me you. Because you say, Rich I am, and I am made rich, and of nothing need I have, and not know that you are the wretched one, that you are the wretched one, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold, having been fired by fire, that you may be rich, and garments white, that you may be clothed, and not be revealed the shame of the nakedness of you, and with eye salve anoint the eyes of you that you may see. I, as many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten, be zealous then, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears the voice of me and opens the door, I will come in to him and I will dine with him, and he with me the one overcoming, I will give him to sit with me in the throne of me, as I also overcame and sat with the Father of me in the throne of him. The one having an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches.
After these things I saw, and behold, a door having been opened in heaven, and the voice first which I heard as a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after these things. And at once I became in spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and on the throne one sitting, and the one sitting was like in appearance a stone jasper, and a sardius, and a rainbow was around the throne like in appearance to an emerald, and around the throne were thrones twenty and... For and on the throne I saw the twenty-four elders sitting, having been clothed in garments white, and they had on the heads of them crowns of gold, and out of the throne came forth lightnings and thunders and voices, and seven lamps of fire are burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God, and before the throne a sea glassy like to crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne four living creatures full of eyes before and behind, and the living creature first like a lion, and the second living creature like a calf, and the third living creature having a face as of a man, and the fourth living creature like an eagle flying and the four living creatures one by one having each wings six all around and within being full of eyes and respite not they have day and night saying holy 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 lord god the almighty the one who was and who is and the coming one when shall give the living creature glory and honor and thanks to him sitting on the throne to the one living to the ages of the ages will fall down the twenty-four elders before the one sitting on the throne, and they will worship him, living to the ages of the ages, and will cast the crowns of them before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, Lord, to receive the glory and the honor and the power, because you created all things, and because of the will of you, they are and were created. And I saw on the right of the one sitting on the throne a scroll having been written within and on the back, having been scaled with seven se seals, with seals seven. And I saw an angel strong proclaiming with a voice great who is worthy to open the scroll and to loosen the seals of it. And no one was able in heaven, nor on the earth, nor underneath the earth, to open the scroll, nor to see it. And I wept much, because no one worthy was found to open and to read the scroll, nor to see it. And one of the elders said to me, now do we behold overcame the lion being of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, to open the scroll and to loosen the seven seals of it. And I saw and behold in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures in the midst the elders a lamb standing as having been slain having horn seven and I seven which are the seven of God's spirits having been sent out into all the earth and he came and took the scroll out of the right of the one sitting on the throne and when he took the scroll the 